As a visitor to Green Bank, it becomes apparent that you have to navigate the old-fashioned way by reading road signs. That's because GPS comes to a screeching halt as you approach this West Virginia town, which has two churches, an elementary school, a library, and the world's largest radio telescope. Sherry manages the largest store in Green Bank. She was born here, so the lack of Wi-Fi connection is normal for her. We've never really had it, so most people would probably say we do it the old-fashioned way, even though to us it's not the old-fashioned way, it's just the way of living. And on the store wall, an artifact from the past, a phone attached to a wall jack, the only way to call someone in Green Bank. Hello, Trins, this is Sherry, can I help you? No modern wireless conveniences here, Green Bank is frozen in time somewhere in the late 1950s. That's because there's a 33,000 square kilometer zone of silence. The closer you get to the telescope, the greater the restrictions. There's a 16 kilometer radius around the observatory where radio controlled items, even toys, cannot be used. With this equipment, I can actually look uh, for a little minute uh, weak signal that, uh, that could be interfering with, with the telescopes. Jonah Bosserman acts as a technical policeman. If he suspects there's an unauthorized signal, he drives to the house and inspects it for prohibited devices. Telescope employees even work in a special room, much like a sarcophagus. This is an electrical submarine, if you will. Uh -huh. No electrical waves can get, electromagnetic waves can get into this room. None of them can get out of this room. In the sarcophagus, the walls are covered with copper. Same for the windows. Even the microwave oven has to be kept in a special metal box. And the power won't come on until that door is locked. The job of these scientists is to minimize the impact of outside interference on the radio telescope. Holstein says only once a week, when there's regularly scheduled maintenance, can some prohibited devices be allowed near the telescope. The size of a football field, the telescope is so sensitive, it could pick up signals sent from an alien world. All the signals that we detect with the telescope so far um, are just generated by unintelligent stars, galaxies, um, you know, things in the universe. We haven't ever detected anything from an intelligent civilization. Local people respect the work of the scientists and they are more than happy to live life Wi-Fi free. You know, instead of sitting here on our phones and our gadgets, we're out fishing and hunting and going to each other's houses. And For the latest news, residents read the weekly local newspaper. When she's looking for a phone number, Sherry reaches for the phone book. And instead of Facebook, Sherry enjoys daily conversations with her customers. In this town, everyone knows each other and communication is face to face. For Lesia Bakalet, Sergei Sokolov, I'm Joy Wagner, VOA News, Green Bank, West Virginia.